Hello everyone, it's the Hobby Dabbler. Today I'm going to be trying to make my own black ink using charcoal powder um, or wood ash. And what I did was I went into my fire pit and got some charcoal and I crushed it up with literally a stone. <laughs> I found a rock in my garden and I put it in a a little bowl and I crushed it up like a mortar and pestle because I didn't have a mortar and pestle so I did a caveman style and I crushed it up into a fine powder um, now you can probably use like a coffee grinder or a blender I didn't feel like I wanted to put this in something that I was gonna eat from even if I cleaned it out so I just went old school and used a rock and a bowl so I'm really not sure how much to put in um, to make my ink, but anyway, you need charcoal powder, which you can also buy, I think, but it's free in your fire pit. You need some distilled water. You need a little jar to put it in. And you need some white vinegar. Now, from what I understand, we're going to take our distilled water and we're going to add enough of it to the charcoal powder to cover it but not much more so if you want a darker ink you add less water and I'm just doing this little pipette by pipette I don't want to add too much because I would like a really dark ink so cover it and then you're going to use a stiff bristled brush to mix it all together until it's a fluid consistency. So I'm gonna try that and see what I end up with. Now my charcoal powder because I mixed it or because I smashed it up with a stone it may not be fine enough for this. You may need really fine powder but I thought why not give it a try it's a fun experiment. It's definitely inky but it's kinda chunky still so it says keep mixing it until it's it doesn't have any chunks in it anymore so that may be impossible with my powder here um, I think you probably need a really fine powder because if I show you up close it's pretty gritty Let me quickly grab a piece of paper and we'll see what it looks like on a piece of paper. You know what? I'll do it in my art journal so we don't waste it. So I'll find an empty page and give it a try on there. Ooh. Well, it's definitely thick. I just got it on my hand and it's, it's more like a paint at this point. Okay, so let's go to this page. I have some alcohol inks on there at the moment. I'm going to smear what I have on my hand on. Okay, so yeah, it's very gritty. So I definitely do not have it fine enough. But it left a really nice solid black mark. So, my thought is... This is too gritty but if you filtered it out with a a sieve of some kind try to get the chunkies off and now let's just draw some so it is a really nice black shade it's just a little too chunky so if you do it, you really need thin, thin powder. Fine, fine powder. But it's pretty neat that you can make your own ink just with something in your backyard. So yeah, mine is far too chunky. But it's definitely working. So I wonder if I just take some on my brush and put it in my water. 
without getting chunkies, or as little chunks as I can, if that would work. So now I made a kind of wash, and oh yeah, it's still pretty gritty. Okay, well, moral of the story is, if you're going to try to make your own ink, you need some really, really fine charcoal powder. And what you would do after the fact is put one drop of distilled vinegar into your ink solution. Um, to stabilize it and to keep anything mogey from growing in it but you can see that it has quite a lot of potential for a really dark nice ink so give it a try yourself uh, make sure you have really really fine powder and uh, let me know how it works and thanks so much for watching and um, if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing thanks bye